All right, guys, so today I am going to be showing you uh, one of my all-time favorite card tricks using uh, just four cards. So basically, um, we have the four aces here, and I promise you um, these aren't marked in a way where I can uh, you know, see them without looking at the faces. So trust me, believe me there, guys. I could shuffle up the deck a little bit, and then if you were here, you could pick a card, let's say like this one. It doesn't really matter which one it is, but I'm going to be showing you guys. I promise you I'm not looking at the card. I'm just going to be showing the camera here. So this is going to be your card. And let's say you put this in the middle somewhere. And if you were here, I'd let you shuffle it up so I can't see where the card's going. And also, I could also turn my head a little bit. And I really wish I could prove to you guys I don't know where the card's at. So let's go ahead. I'll look through the cards. And I'll see which one you guys happened to pick. So I'm going to guess you guys picked the Ace of Diamonds. Now, guys, I promise you this isn't some sort of camera trick. I'm not doing something to cheat you. This trick is really simple and really easy, and you guys will be able to do it, so make sure to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so here's how you guys are going to be able to do the trick. So, um, like I said, the good part is is that it's not difficult at all. Once you understand like the concept, it's going to be so much easier. So, essentially, you can use any deck, um, any aces, and it doesn't matter. They're not marked or anything. So, uh, the big thing here, what you're looking at, um, here's kind of like the secret. So, essentially, the cards are, you're focusing on the middle of the pips. So... You only care about these four things right here. And what you want to do is the first thing is you want to imagine the Ace of Clubs as coming to a point right here. So imagine the Ace of Clubs, it's formed like this, and this is kind of like a triangle, and the point is pointing that way. Just like the Ace of Hearts here, the point here, it's pointing downward. And then you have the Ace of Spades, and that's pointing upward. So you want to make sure these two cards, the Ace of Clubs and the Ace of Hearts, are pointing in the same direction with the ace of spades pointing in the opposite direction and the ace of diamonds obviously doesn't matter because it's kind of neutral so you square all these up it doesn't matter what order the individual aces are it just matters that uh, they're facing in the direction they should be so the ace of clubs ace of hearts both face down ace of spades faces up and it doesn't matter about the ace of diamonds so from here you could have the spectators shuffle up the deck because it doesn't like i said it doesn't matter about what order they're in so let's say they shuffle it up they give the deck back to you and they can pick any card so I'm gonna go through one by one the different scenarios so let's say they pick the ace of clubs so you don't even know what cards they are picking so let's say they take the card out and here's basically the move so if the spectator and most likely this is what they're gonna do they're gonna take out the card they're gonna be looking at it let's pretend they're over there they're gonna be looking at the card and they're gonna give it back to you uh, without twisting it okay so they're not going to be taking the card out like that most of the time so let's say they're holding the card they're looking at it while they're looking at it you casually just go ahead and pivot the deck and just flip it over so all these cards are now flipped upside down from where they were before the spectator you could tell them okay go ahead and put it back and this is when you can turn your head and they can put the card in anywhere they want because they might just you know think that you're looking at where they're putting the card so let's say you close your eyes you turn your head they put the card anywhere they want. They can shuffle up the deck as long as they're not um, flipping the cards or anything like that. So let's say they shuffle the deck up, they give it back to you, and now this is what you have to look for. So we don't know, let's say hypothetically, we don't know what card they picked, but what you're going to be looking at are the way that these are shaped. So the first thing I advise you to do is look at the Ace of Clubs and Ace of Hearts first. So the decks face up, you're looking at these two cards. If these two are now, as you guys can see, they're not facing the same way. So we have the Ace of Clubs pointing downward and the Ace of Hearts pointing upward. You know they picked either the Ace of Clubs or the Ace of Hearts. Now remember when I said we're going to be using the Ace of Spades, like the reference card? Whatever card matches the direction of the Ace of Spades, that is going to be the card they pick. So like I said, here these are two facing different ways. This is down, this is up. And now the Ace of Clubs is pointing the same direction as the Ace of Spades. So now you know they picked the ace of clubs all right so we can go ahead and redo the setup we have the ace of clubs facing up matching with the ace of hearts facing up and the ace of spades is going the opposite direction of these two cards you can square these up you can have the spectator shuffle it up and now let's say they were to pick the ace of hearts so you spread it out ace of hearts they pick the ace of hearts it doesn't matter which way it goes now let's pretend that the spectator actually twisted the card as they turned it out so let's say they picked it up from the deck and they looked at it, they saw it themselves, you won't have to pivot this deck 180 degrees because they've already twisted the card for you. So let's say they twist the card for you, you don't have to pivot the deck anymore. You close your eyes, they put the card wherever they want, they can shuffle it up. And you look at it, you say, okay, you get the deck back, and now you can see 
that the Ace of Clubs and the Ace of Hearts are not facing the same direction anymore, so you know they picked one of these cards, and now you look for which card matches the Ace of Spades. So as you guys can see, the Ace of Hearts is pointing down, the Ace of Spades is pointing down, you know they picked the Ace of Hearts. So now let's say if they were to pick the Ace of Spades, you would know they picked the Ace of Spades because all three cards would be matching. So let's say they were to pick the Ace of Spades, they're looking at their card, you're making sure to uh, know if they've twisted this card yet. Let's say they haven't twisted it yet, so this means when they give the card back to you, before they give it back, you have to make sure you twist this deck. They give this back to you, you don't know what it is, let's say the Ace of Spades though. They go ahead and they mix it up like this. You take the cards back, and now what you do is you're looking again at that Ace of Hearts Ace of Clubs. Now, if you still see they're, uh, they're pointing the same direction, you know they have not picked one of these cards, and then you look at the Ace of Spades. Now, if they're all pointing in the same direction, just like this, they're all pointing down, then you know that they've picked the Ace of Spades. So that's pretty simple. And the easiest one of all, um, if they do happen to pick the Ace of Diamonds, then the order of the cards won't have, they, they're not going to be changed because they have all these, this is facing down, this is facing down, this is facing up and the aces, uh, Ace of Diamonds remain the same. So that one's the easiest. Uh, I hope this trick works out for you guys. Let me know down in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.